Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini for your August 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at someone that you are dealing with, thinking of, was dealing with. We're going to see what this person's hiding from you, and then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what this person, uh, if this person will come clean towards you, if you will find out on your own. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in booking, a, uh, not booking, uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. The person that Gemini is dealing with, thinking of, was dealing with. What is this person not telling Gemini? What is this person not telling Gemini? What is this person hiding from Gemini for August 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We have the five of wands here. We have the two of swords here. I feel like someone here is really angry that someone here cannot make a decision. So this could be you, this could be the, the other person here. I feel like whoever you're dealing with here, Gemini, this is an individual that's really, really just indecisive, just really confused here. You know, I feel like they're frustrated with themselves here that they're in this kind of energy here. And we have the death card here and the king of swords. You know, maybe this is an individual that hasn't really decided whether they want to, want to end things here with you or not. Because I feel like this is an individual that's not saying anything, but I feel like they're, they're really pissed off at about a situation here too, and they're not saying anything. Yeah, they're not saying anything here. We have the Death card here, Scorpio Energy, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Knight of Cups here, and the Chariot. This is, this is an individual that's a bit Jekyll and Hyde here. Because I feel like one moment this person goes cold on you and then the next moment this person's all warm and fuzzy. You know, they want to hug you. They want to give you kisses. You know, they want to shower you with gifts. You know, they want to move forward with you in a relationship here. Uh, but with the Knight of Cups, you know, this is an indication that this person's in love with you. But I feel like they're indecisive about something here. I, it, perhaps indecisive about you because I feel like this person goes back and forth here. The uh, Five of Wands. I almost get the sense that this person's a bit of a wild card because I feel like you never know what you're going to get with this individual here. The Two of Swords here. We have the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I do feel like this is an individual that's going through a lot of stress and anxiety about this decision or that this confusion or about this indecision that they're dealing with here. It's like one moment they want to be friends with you, the next moment they go cold on you, the next moment they want to romance you. So I'm not quite sure what this person's looking for here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this person's looking for here. And I feel like, you know, with the High Priestess here and this Justice card, I mean, they're definitely with, even though. I mean, even though this is my, this might be confusing here, you know, I feel like just be the, the transparency and the honesty would help here. But I feel like this person's definitely not sharing that. The High Priestess and the Justice card, Libra energy here. The Knight of Cups, we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy, the Chariot, and the Four of Swords here. I feel like this is you. Yeah. You completely went silent on this individual and I feel like you ran off here. I feel like you couldn't deal with the wishy-washiness and the back and forth here. Yeah, I feel like you could. Yeah, I, I feel like also this person is very sexually attracted to you too. I, it could be a situation where I feel like you know the wishy-washiness might stem from uh, this person talking to other people and taking uh, people's others' opinions and running from it, and that's why this person goes back and forth here uh, regarding you. So uh, let's see. Uh, will this person come clean towards Gemini? Will this person come clean towards Gemini? Will this person come clean towards Gemini? For August 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. With the Four of Wands here. I would say yes. Uh, you know, I feel like this person will, will, won't really fully come, come in with the truth here. I feel like this person might drop little, little truths here and there. 
but I feel like this person slow to like tell you. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the six, uh, six of Wands here and the Eight of Cups. This person's so confusing here, I feel. We have the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups here. It's like one moment, moment they want to walk away, the next moment they want to come back around. I'm not quite sure what this person wants here, Gemini. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be a situation that this person has options here. I mean, will this person come, completely come clean towards you? I don't, I don't feel that. Yeah, I, I really don't feel that. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Lovers here. This person has options here, Gemini. This person has options here, and I feel like that's what this person's not telling you. Tell me the Four of Wands here. We have the Devil. Okay, um, the, it could be a situation where this person's committed somewhere else. Yeah, they're scared to tell that. They're scared. They're scared to tell you that. They're scared that you will you will find out. They're scared that you will find out. So I, I feel like that's why this person goes back and forth. I feel like this person doesn't really want to talk about anything serious when they're with you. They just want to have a good time. You know, they just, you know, don't, perhaps it could be a situation that this person's in a toxic situation and they're looking for an escape here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't feel like this person will tell you. The Nine of Wands here and the Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups here and the Two of Wands here. Yeah, I just feel like you're tired of back and forth here. I do feel like this person has been traumatized by a situation that they're in because uh, your person is being controlled by their person here. I, I do feel like there's someone else involved. Yeah, there's someone else involved here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like this person feels really safe here with you. I do feel like this person really likes you a lot or that this person's like in love with you. But I feel like this person's definitely going to regret missing out on this opportunity here with you because they are they're unable to or that they're not strong enough to leave their current situation yeah let's see what else do we have here what else do we have here for gemini we have i wish you were here with me and i uh we have um destined connection i wish i could turn back the clock and uh do things over you inspire me in so many ways and betrayal you might have dipped out before this person could even betray you but yeah i do feel like this is an individual they they wish they could be with you they wish that they could be with you but like i said i feel like this person could be committed elsewhere here okay let's see what else do we have here for gemini I feel like I can't give you what you need. I need time. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out. Yeah, so I feel like you guys are soulmates here. But I, like I said, I feel like they are in another connection here. They are committed elsewhere here. I feel ter they feel terrible for hurting you. I mean, they might have already hurt you, um, but I, I get the sense that you might have dipped out before you could find out, to be quite honest here, uh, uh, um, uh, Gemini. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.